Hey guys, this is Madeline from Delicious Teams. Firstly, I'd like to thank you for checking out the Dazzle theme. And if you already purchased it, that's awesome. I thank you, I really appreciate it. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the Dazzle theme. Let's assume that you already purchased the theme and you should have the theme in your downloads tab in uh, your ThemeForest account. Head over to ThemeForest and go to your downloads tab and download all files and documentation. Okay, once the file is downloaded, unzip it. And you should have a folder with uh, the theme version. This is version uh, 1.2. Inside the folder, you have another series of folders. The Dazzle theme. Here you will find the Dazzle theme. And the theme is called Dazzle.zip. You have also a child theme called Dazzle Child.zip. So you will be uh, using dazzle.zip file when uh, installing the, the theme. I have here uh, a fresh WordPress setup. This is, a, this is a WordPress setup which is empty. No posts, only the default post hello world. So, uh, to install the theme you go to appearance, themes, add new. Upload theme and you will uh, use the dazzle.zip file. Okay, and hit the install now button. The theme will be installed. And the next step would, would be to activate the theme. Uh, if this uh, step fails, it means that your uh, settings uh, for uh, the maximum upload file size is set to a smaller value than th the theme files. The theme uh, has 15 megabytes. So to verify this, you go to library, add new, and here you will see the maximum upload limit, which uh, here is set to 24 megabytes, which is which is fine. In case this is smaller than 15 megabytes, you should get in touch with uh, your web hosting provider and uh, ask them nicely to increase this value. Okay, uh, the theme is installed and you have to activate it. And you uh, will be uh, directed to a wizard. This is the themes wizard for setting up the theme, the plugins. So. Hit the let's go button. The theme comes packed with a series of plugins. Make sure you install this, uh, these plugins. And the next step, once the plugins are installed and activated, the next step is the updates tab. Uh, this tab, in the updates tab, you will be able to set up uh, the updating process. In other words, you will be able to create a bridge between uh, your WordPress installation and the uh, Team Forest. So uh, make sure you click the Login with Envato button. And hit uh, the Approve button. Okay, this, uh, this is the bridge. Okay, theme updates have been enabled for the following items. Uh, these are the items that you should have in your downloads tab. Uh, and Dazzle should be in the list too. Okay, hit continue. Okay, the theme is ready. What do you have until now? You have the theme installed and the plugin installed. But the theme doesn't have content. If you start from scratch, like in this case, I suggest you hit the import demo data. This is going to import 
uh, all the demo data that you see in the demo right import demo data that's it all done if you check out the website again and hit refresh you should have the demo data installed yeah uh, with the message revolution slider error there is no slider imported no problem we will take care of this in the next step uh, the data has been imported it works this is the demo uh, for uh, the one page plus image slider uh, home page okay now let's go back to the wordpress dashboard and go to the slider revolution section uh, and if you go back to the package that you downloaded from Team Forest, you should have a folder called demo content and another folder called revolution sliders these are the uh, demo sliders that you see in the in the team demo so to import a slider you simply click on import slider then you choose file and uh, navigate to the to the folder okay demo content revolution sliders dazzle image slider and hit import slider and the slider should be imported okay now if you go back to the home page and refresh the page you should see the the full home page with the the slider active so yep uh, this is how you install the theme and you import the demo data one last thing i would like to talk about are the menus this is a one page this is a menu for a, a one page go to the dozen one page menu and uh, please update the custom links urls this uh, one points to to the demo uh, url so basically you will uh, take your website url and replace this uh, uh, the url in the menus so you don't have problems afterwards so this is it this is how you install uh, the thing you install the plugins and you import the demo data as you can see done in less than 10 minutes and uh, from now on you should be able to customize the, the page with the visual composer as you like